Okay, so next up we're going to have um, Daryl Perry and Anna Tilton. They're both running, um, they'll come up here. They're both running for Register of Deeds for Cheshire County. All right, so. Um, I'll give you some handouts so you have something to read while Well, we actually have a table and table outside for any kind of campaign materials. Put them off back. Okay. Okay, so. Ladies first. All right, so um, oh. Ms. Tilton, you're going to get a two minute, all right, 90 seconds. So you'll each have a 90 second opening statement. Then we'll go into the eight minute um, question and answer. And then we'll have um, three rapid fire questions from the audience. And then you'll get a 60 second closing. So Ms. Tilton, you'll be able to go first. Good afternoon. So my name is Anna Tilton. I'm presently running for a register of deeds for the Cheshire County Registry of Deeds Office. I was elected register of probate six years ago um, on a promise that I would make that office more efficient through better use of technology, increased customer service, do some educational outreach. And I believe I, I accomplished those goals that I promised, but the New Hampshire legislature in the last session eliminated the position of register of probate in their reorganization of the courts. Um, it was unconstitutional and illegal activity, but unless somebody challenges it, that's where it stands. So I presently have zero responsibilities as register of probate. Some friends of mine um, asked me to consider running for register of deeds. They mounted a writing campaign, and now I'm on the ballot for register of deeds. Um, I think as a probate, the deeds office can really use an update in the technology that they use in their office. Um, the advances of technology are such that people go online, they expect to be able to access records online, um, businesses expect to be able to file records online, and the Cheshire County office has none of those uh, capabilities presently. So um, the incumbent has been in office for 38 years. Um, she's been working at the office for 41 years. Um, there's seldom been a, a challenge to her with another candidate option on the ballot. If voters wish to you know, keep her, that's fine. I'm just also giving them another option um, to vote. Hello, my name is Daryl W. Perry. I'm the Libertarian candidate for Register of Deeds. I decided during the month of May that I would challenge Evelyn Hubble, who is not here today. Uh, because I noticed that she had been in office for 19 terms, 38 years, and for at least the last dozen years she's run unopposed as both a Republican and a Democrat on the general election ballot. I wanted to give voters another choice, and during the September 11th primary, Anna Tilton wound up becoming a third choice. So when I initially decided to ride, it was just going to be a two-person race, and I was just hoping that Evelyn Hubble would not be on the ballot twice, that way it would actually be a fair election to where each person is listed one time. There are now three candidates, uh, so I think the voters have a very good choice in, you know, there's three candidates to choose from, and I'm running on a simple platform that I will get into during the Q&A. Okay, so now we're going to go into the eight minute Q&A. And, &A. and um, so the first candidate will get 60 seconds to respond, then the next, the second candidate will also get 60 seconds, then the first candidate will get 30 seconds to rebut. Okay, so Ms. Tilton, if you're elected, what will be your highest priority for the Register of Deeds? As I stated previously, my highest priority would be to update the technological capabilities of the Deeds Office. Um, I would initially update the website, the homepage of the Cheshire County Deeds website, which is not at all informative, not easy to navigate. The record search is awkward. Um, although this deeds office at one point was the first deeds office to have their records available online, the search engine that they have is, is a little bit awkward. I would look to Merrimack County. They have a wonderful um, homepage. Go on. There's lots of information available. They have e-filing available. I would research and implement e-filing. 
um, uh, uh, paralegal sitting here in Keene can file an entire title in Newport electronically. In order to file it in Keene, she has to go to the Keene office and hand a paper copy. The staff then has to scan that paper copy and digitize it in order for it to be available online. I'm running on a simple two-plank platform. First, if elected, I will lobby the state legislature to abolish the position. I believe that the uh, city clerks, the town clerks, and the county treasurers are already sharing a lot of the information that is kept by the Register of Deeds. So the Register of Deeds position could be eliminated, saving the taxpayers in each county at least $54,000 a year. In Cheshire County, the Office of Register of Deeds has a total budget of over 350000 So you multiply that times 10 and you're talking $3 million annually being saved by taxpayers. The second plank of my platform is if elected, I will return half of my paycheck to the treasurer on the condition that it is donated to charities of my choice. I do agree with Ms. Tilton that electronic filing is something that definitely needs to be implemented, but you do not need an elected official to oversee that. Okay. Uh, presently, the, the whole point of having a county office hold the land deeds in the um, other land transaction records is so that the title offices, the real estate offices, the banks all have a central location to where they can go to locate these records. Um, the city of Keene, I'm sure, is not going to be necessarily interested in holding the records for all of the other towns. Um, in fact, they would probably charge the other towns to do that if they had any um, time and staff to do so. If you put the records in the different cities, how's anybody going to find them? Okay, so the next question, um, Daryl, will start. All right, do you believe the government is too big, too small, or just right, especially um, the Cheshire County government? I believe that every government that exists anywhere in the world is too big. Uh, they all need to be either reduced substantially or in some cases eliminated. I went on to the National Association of Counties website this morning it, and it stated, when our national government was formed, the framers of the Constitution did not provide for local governments, rather they left the matter to the states. Subsequently, early state constitutions generally conceptualize county government as an arm of the state. Uh, there is a need for county government. It oversees areas that the state doesn't have any mandate to control and that the cities do not wish to participate in. Um, you might say the government is too large, but what part of the county government um, can be cut? And if it is cut, who's going to pick up those responsibilities? It isn't as easy as saying, we're going to eliminate the county's role in whatever and expect that some other entity or some group of you know, kind-hearted people are going to take on these tasks. Well, as I said during the first question, I believe that either the county treasurer or the city and, and town clerks could keep the records, at least the physical records that are being currently held by the Register of Deeds, but everything should be online. Okay, so the next question um, is, what is your preferred tax policy for um, the city? Uh, how, do you, how do you propose that your uh, office would be paid for? How should it be paid for? Well, I'd like to ask Daryl if he knows how it is currently being paid for. Yes, I do. <laughs> Presently, county government is, is uh, the revenue comes from each of the towns that are located in the county. Each town pays a proportion of tax to the county government to cover the costs that are related to the county government. Um, that tax is based on, I don't know, property valuation, population. And if each town had to pay for the services individually for the services that they receive, their, their cost would be quite a bit higher. Um, by pooling the money, the cost per thousand is you know, some pennies per thousand, um, that's part of the county um, property bill. And it would be far greater if they had to actually pay for the services that they are receiving. Um, there are some towns who have a, 
um, overpopulation in the jail, for instance, or an overpopulation in the county nursing home, their expenses are covered through county taxes. If the towns actually had to pay per person, um, some of the towns would see a massive increase in the cost of their, their um, government services. I would prefer to see all government programs being paid for through voluntary means, uh, either user fees or just uh, voluntary donations to that government agency. The Register of Deeds office, their budget is currently paid for from the fees when people purchase uh, or transfer property. They pay a fee to file that paper with the clerk. I believe that fee could come down and everything could be much more efficient than it currently is. Well, I, I thought that the libertarian position was always user fees, and in fact, um, you pay a user fee when you file a document with the Registry of Deeds office. However, um, there is a, a need for the staff to do the work. If something is going to be online, it has to be digitized, and it has to be indexed, and it has to be put into a search such that the public can access it. Um, that all in, uh, involves staff time. In terms of voluntary taxation, if you have a number of elderly people who need assistance, um, you're gonna have to get a hell of a lot of people to donate money to uh, provide for their care. And I'm not sure that enough people are, I have seen cases where people are more likely to help a puppy than to help an abused child. Um, puppy's cuter. Okay, now we're gonna open up the floor to you, um, rapid fire questions from the audience. So each question is answered by only one candidate. Uh, they and they get a 60 second response. So each candidate will, ha will have the ability to answer three questions apiece. So who would like to ask a question? Mr. Mr. Lee? Thank you. Yes, um, it, it, let's assume we get rid of government. Wouldn't that make it very easy for those who could hire their private armies and who were wealthy? Well, the current system allows those who can afford it to hire private armies. There's this thing called Blackwater, or it used to be called Blackwater, which is now called Z, that was basically a private army paid for by the federal government. So uh, I, I don't really see much of a difference as far as the current system and what would happen without a government that sanctions corporations. Okay, next question. Okay, David, this is going to be to Ms. Tilton. Oh, okay. I want to ask both of them this, but who are you going to be voting for for president and one single reason why? I'm going to be voting for Barack Obama because I think his policies, while not perfect, are going to be a lot better than Mitt Romney's. That's not really a single reason. I'm thinking a single reason, if you have one. Because his policies are going to be better than Mitt Romney's. That's not a reason? I was thinking a single Everybody votes on one issue is not very bright. Okay, since he asked the question for both, I will provide an answer. I have already voted using an absentee ballot because I will not be in the city of Keene that day. I'll be out around the county doing some campaigning. And I wrote in none of the above because I do not like any of the ballot listed choices. So I am using the write-in option as a uh, protest vote to vote for nobody. Okay, um, another question from the audience? Go ahead, sir. Thank you. Ms. Tilton, could you tell us um, what you think the role of government is? Great question. The role of county government is certainly different than the role of others governments, and I'm going to uh, address county government since that's what I've been involved in. Um, county government takes on, as I said, some of those roles um, and again, going back to the National Association of Counties, traditionally counties perform stand, uh, assessment of property, record keeping, and um, in, the, in the state of New Hampshire, we do not have strong county government. If you go out west, you have the city and county of Denver. It is one entity. Here, we do not have Cheshire County as being the overriding government entity. We have individual towns that have their own government and their own um, police force, city clerk, etc. cetera. Um, I think the role of the county, uh, the role of government is to assist those people who are unable to assist themselves to keep records so that um, people are able to maintain files. Um, it's very difficult to figure out 
who owns property if you don't have a probate office that will follow through on wills. Okay, we have um, time for one question for each candidate. Does anybody have a question for one of the candidates? Yeah, sure. <clears throat> Um, how about one central repository for all the deeds online? In instead the state? Of, instead of, yeah, per county. Wouldn't that make everything a lot more cost efficient? Then? Well, I, you know, if you look at the probate court, until 1984, each probate court was an individual court and had responsibilities for the county. When those duties were centralized and under the umbrella of the administration off, administrative offices of the court, you lost uh, local control basically. When I was a register of probate, I had very little leeway in what I could do to improve that office. I was under the control of the administrative um, office of the court. In the deeds office, the, the register is, is the sole arbiter of what's going to happen. And because she's elected, she must respond to the needs of the citizens. And I think that's one reason why deeds offices have e-filing and deeds offices have online accessibility to records. You do not see any records in any of the judicial branches that are online because it's so centralized. And I'm concerned that if you get to a big centralized type of organization, that um, the needs of the local communities um, goes away. Um, we have one more question for Daryl. Hold on, he has to change the tape. Oh, okay. So we're gonna take a little moment to let uh, our, our cameraman back there change the Okay, and we're back. So we have time for one more question for Daryl. Do you have any questions? All right, well then each candidate will get their um, 60 second closing remarks. Well, I'll ask you for your consideration for a vote for me for Cheshire County uh, Register of Deeds. Um, I think my experiences and abilities in implementing available technologies can make Cheshire County Register of Deeds Office a more efficient core, uh, office, make the information available more easily accessible, make for a better customer experience, and as the services are, that are available to customers uh, improve and increase, there would also be an increased um, possibility for revenues for Cheshire County. The Deeds Office is a cash cow. Those fees that come in um, pay for a lot of the services that the deeds office provides and um, if you will provide online services um, that are more easily accessible available in uh, mobile devices to mobile apps um, make the credit card payments available I think there really is an opportunity to increase revenues um, and if you're if you believe in user fees these are this is a, an office that absolutely is based on user fees and it, I would ask that on November 6th, if you want somebody that supports smaller government as your register of deeds, that you vote for me. Uh, if elected, I will lobby that the, for the legislature to get rid of the elected office, saving the taxpayers money, and hopefully they can reorganize the register of deeds and merge that with either the county treasurer or have the city and town clerks do that. That way, saving taxpayers money and eliminate that elected office the same way that the uh, duties were eliminated from the probate. Thank you very much.